Hi, I'm Jackie Choi, a third year HKU science student majoring in decision analytics. Today I will be sharing with you the YSS, the Young Scientist Scheme for outstanding students of the 6901 BSc program. Since 2016, every year, students who have excellent academic background in their high school studies are admitted to the Young Scientist Scheme and are provided multiple opportunities throughout their undergraduate years at HKU Science. As of currently, we have 105 participants in the scheme. So why HKU Science? HKU strives to be Asia's top global university. We have ranked high amongst different ranking scores throughout the years. For example, we have ranked 35th and 4th in the World University Rankings 2020, as well as the Asia University Rankings 2019. Also, we have ranked 25th and 2nd in the QS World Rankings 2020, as well as the QS Asia University Rankings 2019, respectively. We're also very proud to say that we're the most international university in the world that is ranked in 2019. About 40% of our academic staff in the faculty are from overseas. We're also proud to say that we have ranked 9th in the QS Graduate Employability Rankings 2020. Apart from our rankings, we also have top-notch top scientists as well as international collaborations. Um, 16% of our professor staff in the faculty are the world's top 1% scholars. We also have multiple international collaborations between professors as well as in institutions. These are the eight opportunities that YSS students are guaranteed with. Firstly, we have the Summer Research Fellowship, SRF, in which students are able to conduct research here at HKU during the summer after their first year of study. Secondly, we have a further SRF or an Overseas Research Fellowship Program, ORF, for students of the YSS program. Students are able to either conduct research here at HKU or conduct research overseas in another institution. Thirdly, we have International Exchange Visiting and Summer Study Programs. Like myself, students are able to go out during the semester or during the summer to study more of their subject in another institution overseas. Fourthly, we're able to have many opportunities to attend international scientific conferences. We also have research mentors that are assigned to us who will be able to guide us throughout our research journey. We also have the enrollment in the Frontiers of Science Honors Seminar in which we can learn more from professionals as well as other researchers. We also have stipends for research activities as well as an entrance scholarship for YSS students. This is a pathway diagram for YSS students which is separated into our four years of study. And these are the main research areas. As we can see here, we have annual poster presentations as well as the undergraduate research colloquium where students who have conducted research previously are able to share about their experiences to fellow students and learn more from their professors and um, gain comments from um, the entire science faculty. Here are some institutions that our overseas research fellowship students have been visiting in, our, in the past years. As we can see, um, North America and Europe are one of the po um, one, two of the popular, most popular universities. This is another map that shows some of the institutions that are in partner with us for the YSS program. Um, like myself, I went to UC Berkeley for exchange during the summer, and um, we also have other universities such as Chicago, um, Yale, as well as the University of Cambridge. So you might be wondering, how do we join YSS? For Jupa students, if you have achieved a score over 35, 
for your best five HKDSE category A subjects, then you're automatically accepted into the YSS program and no, no interview is necessary. For non-JUPAs or international students, selected applicants will be invited to the interview and you will be able to join JUPA students if you succeed in your interview. For more information about the YSS program, please visit our website. Now I'd like to share more about my personal research journey here at HKU Science. In the summer after my first year of study, I conducted a research project along with my professor from the Statistics and Actuarial Science Department. I was on an investigation in terms of how an algorithm could be able to be used in analyzing financial as well as environmental data sets, namely how time series modeling can be helped using the Lasso algorithm. Throughout the experiences, I encountered many difficulties um, which I was able to overcome later. Firstly, I had a lot of trouble reading research papers simply because I wasn't used to the format and I was only in my first year of study. Secondly, I had to learn a new computing language, which was also very hard. However, I was able to go through these obstacles with the help from my professor, as well as a lot of support from my friends and some of my self-learning motivations. Throughout this experience, I was able to learn more about the topic that I was investigating. I was also able to know how to conduct research properly using a prestigious and rigorous research approach. And last but not least, I was able to learn more about how I developed as a person, as a learner, and how important it was to be proactive in all my motivations. Apart from the research opportunities, as a YSS student, I was also given so much more. Firstly, I was a science student ambassador um, of the science faculty. Throughout the years, I was able to interview with a lot of amazing alumni who have ac accomplished so much in their fields. I was able to ask them questions about how they dealt with learning and what some of their tips were and about their personal journeys overall. Secondly, I was given a lot of career opportunities and um, to learn more about what I wanted to do. Um, there were a lot of internship opportunities as well as career fairs that I attended regularly to know more about the profession. And lastly, I was also given a lot of um, diverse ranges of opportunities, for example, exchange and some flexibility in my course selections, etc. But most importantly, I believe that it is the individuals here who have made the, my journey at HKU amazing. Throughout my years, I was able to talk with a lot of research staff, a lot of professors, and many inspiring individuals, students, staff, teachers here. I was able to learn more about their personal journeys, how they learn, and communicate with them, exchange ideas with them. And this is what belief um, the most important part that shaped who I am today. So, I hope you can join HKU Science and I hope to see you very soon. Welcome. Thank you.